Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the authentication types in SAP BO platform. So before setting up the user accounts and groups within the BI platform, we have to decide which type of authentication we want to use. Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user who attempts to access the system and rights management is the process of verifying that the user has been granted sufficient rights to perform the requested action upon the specified object. So the security plugins expand and customize the ways in which the BI platform authenticates the user. So we have the different authentication methods which are available. So like we have Enterprise, LDAP, Windows AD, SAP, Oracle EBS, Siebel, PeopleSoft and then we have the JD Edwards Enterprise. So let's see in the system how we can set up the authentication types in BO platform. So we go to the CMC and okay let's let's log in here. So on the CMC homepage if you go to the authentication so here we have the different types of authentications which are available. So the first one is the enterprise authentication. Enterprise authentication is the default authentication method for the BI platform. It is automatically enabled when you first install the system. It cannot be disabled. When you add and manage the users and the groups, the BI platform maintains the user and the group information within its database. After that, we have the LDAP authentication. LDAP authentication, it's a lightweight directory access protocol, a common application independent directory, which enables the users to share the information among various applications. Based on an open standard, LDAP provides a means for accessing and updating the information in a directory. LDAP is based on the X500 standard, which uses a directory access protocol to communicate between a directory client and a directory server. After that, we have the Oracle EBS. So what is Oracle EBS? Oracle EBS, it is to allow the Oracle EBS information to be used by the BI platform. The system needs the information on how to authenticate into your Oracle EBS system. Then we have the JD Edwards Enterprise One. So the JD Edwards Enterprise One to use this uh, this data with the BI platform. So we use the JD Edwards data with the BI platform in this authentication. So to use this, we must provide the system with the information about your JD Edwards deployment. So this information is what allows the BI platform to authenticate users so that they can use their JD Edwards Enterprise One credentials to log on to the BI platform. Then we have the PeopleSoft authentication. So to use the PeopleSoft Enterprise data with the BI platform, you must provide the program with information about your deployment. This information will allow the BI platform to authenticate the users so that they can use their PeopleSoft credentials to log on to the program. Then we have the SAP authentication. So SAP authentication, it enables the SAP users to log on to the BI platform using their SAP usernames and the passwords without storing the passwords in the BI platform. SAP authentication also allows you to preserve the information about the user roles in SAP and to use the role information in the platform to assign the rights for performing the administrative task or the accessing content. Then we have the Siebel. So Siebel authentication again to allow the Siebel information to be used by the BI platform. It needs the information on how to authenticate into your Siebel system. Then we have the Windows AD. So Windows AD authentication it is used for the Active Directory authentication on the BI platform. So we should have the CMS must always be installed on a supported Windows platform. 
and after that we can set up the information and we can process the configuration of the windows active directory authentication to work on the bi platform so these are all the authentication types which are available in your bi platform and you can configure them as per your requirement from the authentication section of the cmc thank you